Hello everybody. Welcome back to programminginpython.com. I'm back with another video. Here in this video, I'm going to continue the pattern series. I'll print the pattern of letter E here. In the previous videos, I've told you how to print the pattern of letter A, B, C and D. So this is uh, time for letter E. I'll continue to letter Z. Uh, so stay tuned. This is the program on letter E. Before I'm going to do my PyCharm ID, uh, coding the pattern, uh, showing the result for you. So before that, I just want to share with you one thing. There's an incredible offer going on a Python course. Uh, there's a bundle called Mighty Python Bundle in which you'll get 20 courses for the price of one. I'm just going to share you the link uh, where you can get. I'll just go to the browser. I'll just go to my browser, share it with you. And then I'll come back again. This is the uh, this is the bundle guys. This is the bundle guys I'm talking about. Um, Mighty Python Bundle. So you can uh, go to this page. I'll provide the link in the description. So you are getting uh, all together 20 courses. Go to the uh, curriculum and see. You will see 20 courses. This is the course one. Uh, it says about uh, 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 it says about Python programming and expert guide in Python. And you can also get about uh, uh, this uh, this course. Uh, learn uh, Python with 100 practicals. You can uh, learn about animations. You can learn about TensorFlow. You can also learn about 2D and 3D graphics, fraud detection, data science, uh, clustering classification. You can also you can also uh, take course on how to become a certified Python developer. Uh, there's our uh, intermediate, this on data science. You see, this is on machine learning. You can see from the beginning level to going up to data science and machine learning. So these are 20 courses. These are not just a normal uh, two three minutes videos. These are complete course. You have sections. In the sections you have multiple. Uh, in each section you have multiple videos on it. So in each section you have multiple videos on it. So this is a great offer and they are offering you for at 3850 rupees. Actually it's around 9625. It's already on 60% discount. So you are getting about 3, you are getting it for 3850. That is not it. You are we'll also able to get extra up to 30%. Maybe you'll get 10% on this offer. I'll just go to add cart. You see this uh, is 3850. Plus you are having some GST, so it's uh, coming to four five four three. But you can add a coupon. Uh, I will add this July ten, and you will get ten percent instant uh, discount. You can see it became to four zero eight nine. That is not it at all. You can still get even more uh, benefit on this uh, as it's a buy one get one offer. You can purchase anything. Uh, you can purchase any other bundle or any other e degrees. They are having some e degrees. Uh, you can uh, with this python bundle you can also buy a python e degree or if you want another bundle you can buy another bundle so you are getting this uh, python bundle as free because this uh, this javascript bundle price is little bit uh, more than the python bundle so its price is this price is taken the highest price will be taken so again we can add a coupon here you are getting it for uh, 4439 but there is one more coupon uh, you can i'll just remove this there is one more coupon called flat 25 so if you apply this you get 25% discount so you are getting for 3699 itself so this is an incredible offer so you are getting for 3699 you are getting two bundles like complete python and complete javascript you can also take any other bundle instead of javascript you can take any bundle or any e degree or anything you want you can go to the you can browse the catalog and select anything so this is an incredible offer guys if you also plan to take any other course in the future you can buy it now and access it later because it has a lifetime access so don't miss this deal guys, I'll just uh, post the link in the description. I'll uh, just post the link for the Mighty Python bundle. You can add other courses as you wish. I just don't uh, promote this, uh, I, don't, I just don't uh, show this in my videos. But uh, I just want to tell you this is an incredible deal. So I just can't stop myself from sharing with you. So I'm just sharing with you guys. With that said, let's get started with printing the pattern of letter E. So now I'm in a PyCharm IDE. So what I'll do is I'll just Ask the user for the input. I'll ask. Uh, I'll ask for the size. Uh, size equal to. I'll just ask input. Input. Uh, the, I will say enter size. I will also check whether this is. I will also check whether this size is uh, less than eight or not. I'll check like um, uh, like for all, like for all of the previous programs. I'll just check the size here if. Uh, if size less than eight, what I said, I'll just give, I'll just give them a prompt. I'll just give a prompt like a print enter size greater than eight. 
else i'll just uh, else i'll just call the actual pattern which prints the letter uh, i'll just i'll just call the actual pattern which prints the letter e so i'll define a function here like uh, print underscore pattern and i'll go pass this size variable here so as you can see we are seeing an error error here because this definition is not defined so i'll just uh, uh define this function here copy this uh, print pattern and here i just need to uh define it define it using the key or the name uh, the syntax def and i need to give parameter as a first parameter i'll just call it n so here so here I call so here I got the a variable uh, the got the size or the number which is passed here. So now I will do a loop for I I in the sense row for row in range n. So uh, basically uh, the e should be something like this. Uh, we'll have all the starts like this. So all the starts like this. So array will look something like this. So we'll have to print uh, a three uh, lines, three, three rows. You have to fill three rows with stars and the first column with stars. So we'll add the conditions like in previous other applications like a pattern D uh, have different conditions for adding the first line, uh, the last line and the first column and the last column. So these are the conditions. So similarly for pattern E, I write the conditions. So this will be the this will be printing a first row. This will print a last row, and this will be the this is the middle row, and this is for the column, and this right one is for the column, and these uh, uh, lines are for the uh, rows. So first, let me write conditions for this uh, horizontal lines. There will be three lines uh, for this uh, E. So I'll write a condition for that. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, for a row in range n. Um, so and for column. In range, so for column in range, so this is eight. I also want this as a bigger one. Or at first, let us assume that will be also n. Later, we can uh, change the size if the if the output doesn't look reasonable, like the e doesn't look reasonable. You can change these parameters later. So now, uh, after this four, I'll write an if condition. If uh, if row equal to equal to zero and or I have to write or row equal to equal to n minus one. Uh, so this if zero is for this line, this is really the row zero, and this n minus one is for uh, this line, the last line, and I'll write or row equal to equal to n by 2 that means uh, they will probably get the la, la middle line here so here i'll print uh, uh, stars uh, as you already know uh, i will just print an end as empty space because i have told you in the previous pattern series that uh, by default the print takes new line as the end parameter so if I explicitly, so if I need, so I need to specify explicitly an empty character so that it will print next uh, to next uh, next to itself. Uh, so it will print to the next item instead of going to the next line. So that is for if and else. I will print. Uh, um, uh, else I will print a space. And here also. And here also I need to give and. Uh, as empty and after the first for loop i need to uh, print because uh, after this executing this first iteration should, it should go to the next line so for going to the next line i'll do this print and it's saying some indentation errors that's that will not be a problem let me save this and i will just run this and see so i'm just pointing only the uh, rows i will say nine so there is some yeah, they are saying uh, string and int because we need to uh, here cache this to input. I mean integer. I have given input, but I need to uh, cast that input to, to an integer. 
so now it will take it as integer by default uh, if i enter any value like you saw earlier uh, by default if i enter any value it's taking as uh, you can see it's taking as a string but uh, we need to expect excel this to specify that the input will be an integer so that i will, so that so i kept this like this so now let me run this the size 9 you can see it printed the first line and the last line uh it missed the middle line we also gave i also gave condition for middle line o equal to equal to n y by 2 i mean we have to give a floor division here you can see the three lines uh, okay the three uh, rows can so our next uh, thing is to print the first column uh that will be simple let me just take this in a and the column should be and i mean the column uh column equal to equal to n uh let, let us let us let us check with this condition the column equal to equal to zero i mean the column equal to equal to zero or uh, let me just check with this condition i'll just run this again I go down to so, uh, nine. Uh, there's something here. Uh, oh, I mean, I will let let us let us give this uh, thought. Like this is for a row. Along with this, uh, this column is equal to equal to zero. So you can see we got an E here. Uh, this is how we are expecting an E. So uh, this is our E here. uh this so this what we got when we ran this so that is uh, so we finally executed what we wanted we give 20 it will become a big e i will run again and as we output uh, of a size 10 you can see this is an e uh, this is what we wanted so the so that's it guys uh, basically this is a uh, this is the function uh, first i'll take the number n and i'll make conditions for rows and columns so there will be three conditions for rows these are the three conditions which i use for rows that is the uh, which should be the first row the last row and the middle row uh, this is the condition for first row uh, this is the condition for condition for the last row and this is the condition for the middle row and this is a uh, condition for the first column here so in this uh, conditions i'll print starts so i start to print in all other conditions i'll print spaces so i will print uh, spaces here and after the first iteration uh, obviously we need to print as uh, we should go to the next line as we have given n as an empty so i have printed uh, empty print so that it goes to the next line so that's how this uh, e is printed so the that so we are printing this patterns guys you can uh, look at the previous patterns this is pattern d and this is pattern b so all the other patterns are also available i will also post the links in the description and i will also post the code for this uh, program in the description my github link in the description and also i'll sure share the blog post of it so don't forget to look at the description and also if you have any uh, queries uh, just comment them below i'll try to respond them so hope you like the video guys if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel programmingwithpython.com also stay tuned for more pattern series uh, this pattern e i'll go up to letter z and also more programs on python also don't forget to miss the offer i shared in the beginning uh, the bundle offer the courses are going on edunix uh, there are incredible sale right now uh, once in a lifetime offer you shouldn't miss them so just uh, make sure uh, you are already purchasing all the courses you want now because they are on sale you can purchase any courses not just python okay without said let me sign off see you in the next video bye bye